asked questions like you received from the Nagels, uh, from HIV positive people desperate to get answers from mothers with babies. How many times do you think you've been asked? Since Hold then, the mic. Since, since then, how many times have been asked? Or even before then? Yeah. No, before. Well, it, uh, I would say maybe 100, 100 times. About 100 times, I would say. At least, yeah. yeah. Probably more. Probably more, actually. It, I get sort of several emails a week asking about it. Several, several a week? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my advice is relatively consistent. I'm not a doctor, but these drugs are DNA chain terminators designed to kill human cells. Maybe you could already draw your own conclusions. If not, look a little bit at some of those pictures that we just saw yes. now. Yes. And scientists still consider, well, maybe you should lower yes. the dose a tiny bit. Yes. <laughs> so are there any questions from the audience for uh, the Nagels or Peter or <laughs> Yes, please. Oh, do we have some microphones? Lots of them. I guess we have all the microphones. But you will really want it first. Uh, just out of uh, curiosity, um, you said a uh, hundred times. Uh, how many of these have uh, he uh, heated you? How many uh, stopped the drugs altogether? Well, I don't know that. I can't swear to that. You know, these are uh, all so these things. But. May I get also a good number of letters who said, I owe you my life and thank you, you're my friend oh, and all so this. They forever. let you know that. That's yes, nice. yes. <laughs> Not all of them, but some of them really write back. It's very few hate letters, I, which I always expect and sometimes actually even miss when they don't come. <laughs> See, what's wrong with it? I mean, they must be all odd people. Why don't they hate a, a, a genuine mass murderer? I give them one and they don't hate me. <laughs> Uh, Lindsay, I'm interested in when you learned about, when did you learn about your uh, story, and what was it like, and then for, for the family in general, but for you first. Um, as I've known ever since I can remember, but um, I guess when I was in fifth grade is when I really found out what the disease was, but ever, before that I just knew I had a illness that I was going to die because of the drugs that I was given. Yeah, you should know that when Lindy, when Peter Newsberg came into our lives and, and Lindy's life was changed, um, we did a little drill with her. I said, who saved your life? Peter Newsberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one now. Can I get adopted too? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, about three or four years ago, Lindsay had uh, mono, <laughs> or maybe had mono, but anyway, she was down and out, and uh, it was, at that point, it was very scary for me to re-engage with the medical community because she wasn't of age yet. So we kind of went around about it, and I said, are you, you know, are you really sick? Because if you're sick, we're going to have to take you to the doctor, but there could be consequences, because at that time, I was still fearful that she could be removed from our home because she was, it was threatened uh, right when we took her off the drug that there, were, uh, that there were foster homes that would take her in for parents that would not adhere to their recommendation. So anyway, they, she went in and got some testing and it was never really clear if she had mono or not, but then she got over it. But a couple of days later, the doctor did call back up and he said, say, there's something else here that you didn't tell us about. And now this is a doctor we've never seen before. So it's very true. Uh, if you, most, from my experience, most uh, medical forms, your, your identification number is your social security number. <clears throat> and that will, once they punch that into a computer, once you've, like they said on the movie, once you've tested HIV positive, you're always going to be HIV positive. And uh, they're not going to look at you the same. And uh, it would be, uh, I think, to have a child, uh, if you test HIV positive, I think could bring on an onslaught of problems that you may not be able to conquer. The one reason that we got around that was that the media became very interested in our story just purely because of the oddity. I'm sure they thought we were killing our kid. But uh, when they went to interview the doctors, 
that's when the doctors backed off. They didn't want any part of it after that. But before that, they were chasing us and uh, they were coming after. So it's, it's definitely a threat.